All right. So you good folks out there who are not well versed in the southern redneck vernacular, this is the proverbial stump hole. Well, so what you say? A stump hole, a stump hole, a stump hole. I beg to differ. To an untrained eye, yeah. But to southern folks who especially know anything about corn liquor, revenuers, and moonshiners, this is a uh, historical site. You see, the bootleggers would make their liquor, and they had customers, and they would hide their wares in these stump holes, and they may be stump holes. They had several locations. A stump hole all around the area, so the revenuers wouldn't find them. And when a customer, a good regular customer, wanted some uh, fine spirits. The bootlegger was that good so so stump hole. Take out your, your whiskey and leave your money. And that's what he did. Henceforth, stump hole liquor. I know some of you heard of stump hole liquor, but that's where it came from. And he had these stump holes all over the place, but if a if a buyer ever took his liquor and didn't leave his money, well, he wouldn't buy from that guy anymore, and he would probably get his ass whipped. But that's how stump hole liquor got its name. Hiding in the stump hole. Revenuers, sheriff, them, they wouldn't pay no attention to it. It was like an old stump. But inside, the nectar of the gods are kept, but at a price. I think some good stump hole liquor now, fairly good, is running about $40 a gallon. Good, good stuff costs more than that. Not too good stuff, cheaper than that. But that's how stump hole liquor got its name. That's your history lesson for today.